Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Morning Devotions. Hope everybody's doing good today. Hey, kitty. She's playing with a bag. <gasps> On our prayer request today, Rita has neuropathy in her feet, and some days it's hard to function. And... Mark, let us know if your back's doing better. Mark Robb has hurt, had hurt his back. It's been several days. And Pat Anderson's doing better. And Logan's doctor appointment yesterday went pretty well. Uh, he they, He's going to need an operation on uh, his left knee, I believe he said. Uh, he's got arthritis is set up in both knees, uh, in the left one especially, really bad. And uh, he has to lose 100 pounds before he can have the uh, surgery. So we're going to be working on that with him uh, from, you know, from now on until he gets, gets that weight off. Because, uh, you know, he's going to need that surgery so he can get around, you know. And I guess the reason, one of the reasons I'm sure is because uh, uh, if you weigh too much, you're, you're going to have too much weight on the knee uh, after the operation for recovery, you know. And I'm sure you'd have to have uh, physical therapy and stuff too. Uh, Kathy Mulligan's daughter for respiratory problems and she's up for a promotion. Kathy's brother, leg and hip pain. Tabitha's cousin passed away. Prayers for the family. Patty's husband's back in the hospital. His potassium was very low. And a volcano in the Philippines erupted. And I don't know a whole lot of details, you know, but uh, pray for all the people affected in that. Uh, our friend here, Tracy Cook, passed away. Pray for her family. Kathy from No Guts, No Glory has been sick bad with multiple problems. Pray she's better soon. Uh, yeah, okay, that's about Logan there. I had two about, I had to update that. Okay, I think that's it for the prayer request. Well, that is it. That's all I saw in there. Okay. Our Bible verses today come from Psalm 94 and then 12 through 15. A thousand years in your sight are like a day that has just gone by or like a watch in the night. And then I can't hardly get these pages. And then let me make sure I get the right second ones. 12 through 15. Well, okay. Teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Relent, Lord, how long will it be? Have compassion on your servants. Satisfy us in the morning with your unfailing love that we may sing for joy and be glad all our days. Make us glad for as many days as you have afflicted us. For as many years as we have seen trouble. Okay. Sick. Our devotion today is entitled Slowing Down Time. A lot has changed since the electric clock was invented in the 1840s. We now keep time on, on smartwatches, smartphones, and laptops. The entire pace of life seems faster and even our leisurely walking speeding up. This is especially true in cities and we can have and can have a negative effect on health, scholars say. We're just moving faster and faster and getting back to people as quickly as we can, Professor Rich Richard Wiseman observed. That's driving us to think everything has to happen now. Moses, the writer of one of the oldest of the Bible Psalms, reflected on time. He reminds us that God controls life's pace. 
A thousand years in your sight are like a day that has just gone by or like a watch in the night, he wrote. The secret to time management, therefore, isn't to go faster or slower. It's to abide in God, spending more time with Him. Then we get in step with each other, but first with Him, the one who formed us and knows our purpose and plans. Our time on earth won't last forever, yet we can manage it wisely, not by watching the clock, but by giving each day to God, as Moses said. Teach us number Teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Then with God we'll always be on time, now and forever. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I want to pray for everybody on the prayer list, Lord. And pray for all the people in the Philippines that are affected by the volcano eruption. And help, help everybody out there that needs help also, Lord. In the Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you enjoyed this morning's devotion. Please press that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that so that you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody have a great day, and I'll see you later on on Morning Coffee Break. God bless.